Hi there and welcome to Why You Should episode 25. Yes, we've made it for 25 episodes. Mmm, I feel good about that. And last week we talked about anime it was episode 24. And I explained why I love anime and I think everybody should watch it. And then a lot of people pretty much did the following. You can't talk about anime not recommend anything. To which I now reply, you're correct. I'm sorry, let's recommend some anime. So, first of all, first things first, what we're going to do, it's going to be a pretty long episode, I'm going to try and shorten it as much as I can. I've wrote a really big list of anime that I want to recommend, and I'm going to try and talk through it. I want to first address uh, two things. First thing, there is a ton of genres, I said this before, there are a ton of genres, and not everything is for everyone. If we're gonna do basic stereotypes, we're gonna see that girls like slice of life because it talks about romance and stuff like that, and men like ultraviolence because it has tons of violence in it and violence is fun, okay? Basic stuff. Not everything is for everyone, I recommend you try a specific genre and then decide what you wanna do through there, what more would you like to see. So that's one thing that's very important to note. The second thing that's important to note is that there is huge differences in culture, okay? There are huge differences in culture, so there are things that you won't understand inherently. There are things that are will, will seem weird to you, and I want to give a very specific example in types of romance and things like that. It's very common for us to see, um, you know, a kiss in standard... It's normal to see a kiss, right? I'm gonna close the window because there's so much noise coming out from outside. It's normal for us to see a kiss. In Japanese culture, holding hands is the equivalent of having sex in front of everyone. It sounds weird as hell, but holding hands is the equivalent of having sex in front of everyone. I'm exaggerating, but that's pretty much it, but it's kind of close. It's, they're very, very repressed with their emotions in a lot of things. Now, obviously, the, the later the anime, if we're talking about an anime that's been done the last couple of years, it's very different because they do grow up. <laughs> but something that you'll watch that was 10 years ago, and there are amazing things that were made 10, 20 years ago that you definitely want to watch, those things have a very different culture in mind. It's very different from Western culture, from America, and, and everything like that, and you need to get that through your head. It doesn't speak to everyone, and sometimes it's best for people to watch stuff that have no, not a lot of cultural references in that sense, but it's something that you need to be aware of, that the culture of the Japanese is very, very different, and it comes out in the anime, and you need to get used to those type of things in order to feel comfortable with all kinds of anime. So that's something that you really need to put in your brain, and another thing that comes into play from that is the translation. Anime is obviously... Japanese, and then you get two types of things that you can watch, either dubbed, which means that it's English speaking, or subbed, which means they speak Japanese and you have subtitles. Now there's a ton of subtitles groups, there's t all kinds of different things that um, that are used, but they're the best kinds, as far as I'm concerned, are when they put up a little, if there's something cultural or a word that is very specific to Japanese culture, they'll leave it in, and they'll leave the name of the word, how, how it's called, and then they'll also put up a little subtitle at the top and explain what that means to you. So sometimes there's so much text on the screen in a very single, in a single frame or so that you actually have to pause. It doesn't happen to me as much and definitely anime has taught me to read very fast, but that might actually happen because sometimes they say, and that's four sentences. So that might happen and it is the, the, the problems that you get starting to watch anime, but you have to get into that. And understand that there's also um, an example like San and Kun, which is said it horribly, but it's when they speak to someone, when you speak to someone that's below you, like uh, a kid, or when you speak to someone who's above you, then the way that you, the, the suffix is how you address that person. There's very specific ways they address people, and that could be. There's something that you need to start and understand and, and put in your brain that it's going to come out a lot. So that's something that you need to understand when you come into watching anime. Now, it's probably, again, best to start with animes that don't have um, cultural impact and you'll easier to get into those. And uh, the last thing that I want to say before I actually go to the recommendations, I know this is a lot of stuff and a lot to take in, is that everything goes. You have to remember that this is 
a full genre on itself, it is no different than live action in the way that we have crap shows, okay, and we also have HBO, and HBO are allowed to show you tits, okay? They're allowed to show nude people and allowed to say really bad words like fuck or shit, or, and they're, they're allowed to do whatever they want. There's a lot of nudity as well. There's a lot of obscenities. There's a lot of beheadings and tons of blood and gore and stuff like that. And everything goes. There's much, much less taboos. Much less taboos. There's less taboos. And anime also have, you know, the standard stuff. And there's also the high quality things that can have those, those elements of nudity and ex exceptional violence and strong language and stuff like that. So put everything in there. And uh, let's get into actual recommendation. I've been talking for six minutes. I've been talking for six minutes. I haven't gotten to the recommendation yet. You know what? I'm going to turn this into a two-parter. You're probably going to hate me for that, but I'm not going to turn this into a two-parter 25 and 26. It's 25A and 25B. And B, the actual recommendations, I'll release it tomorrow. I'll make it tomorrow and release it tomorrow on Friday. So this has been part one of getting into anime filled with filled to the brim with information. There's so much to go through, and I really, I, I ha wrote like 25 shows that I want to talk about a little bit, every little thing. Um, so, yes, getting into anime, put all of those things in your head, okay? Get all those things in your head. Try and think among the, the insane amount of genres what you want to see, and tomorrow we'll talk about, I'll even put up the links so that the, the, the annotations the the spotlight that you can link to the next chapter when it comes out tomorrow and we'll talk about all the recommendations and i'll give you enough stuff to watch that you'll never ever ever leave the house good job great wonderful thank you so much for watching let me know what you think about everything that i just yelled at you and i will see you guys tomorrow for the hard recommendations mm, yes see you guys next time